taking it across our community, pushes to remove memorials to the Confederacy. This one here even references faithful slaves. This is in Chesterfield, and tonight some in the community say it needs to go. Our South Carolina reporter Greg Suskin is live there right now. And Greg, we've seen a lot of these lately, but this one has a far different purpose. Yeah, the situation here in Chesterfield County is really very different. There's no statue of a Confederate soldier here. There's no Confederate flags. This monument was dedicated for a very specific purpose to remember secession after a very important historical meeting that happened where that building stands right over there. There's a lot of history in downtown Chesterfield, including a courthouse burned during the Civil War and rebuilt. Outside stands a stone monument to the first secession meeting held in the old courthouse. Kids are walking by this and they're seeing this proud monument about uh, slaves obeying their masters. What Colby Quick is talking about is a plaque on the back side of the monument that reads to the brave men, devoted women and faithful slaves, then list the dates of the Civil War. The monument was placed by the Daughters of the Confederacy in the 1920s. Quick and a friend started this online petition to have the monument removed. He says his goal is bridging the racial divide. There's racial divide in the country that should not exist. There's uh, racial prejudice in this country that should not exist. And uh, things like this just perpetuate that even further. There was a small Confederate flag placed next to the monument after the petition was launched. It has since been removed. No one would speak on camera in support of the monument, but I did reach out to the sons of Confederate veterans. I haven't heard back, but the group's website has its own petition to save the Heritage Act, which protects monuments and war memorials on public land take the Veterans Memorial down at the modern courthouse. It no longer sits in a prominent place after the building was renovated, but the Heritage Act doesn't allow for it to be moved at all, even to a place where it's more visible. And when it comes to this particular monument, it's not just the Heritage Act these folks will have to try to get around. There are also local protections in place, too, that protect this monument. The folks who started this petition say they'll take it as far as they can. Genevieve. All right, Greg, we know you will follow this story.